money is more important than you think it is. All I heard when I was a kid was that money wasn't important. That's what people told me all the time. It was who you are as a person that was more important. That's what people say. They continue to say that to this day. My parents said it a little bit, but it was mostly school. It was this indoctrination. Teachers would say this all the time, that money is not important. That's what my teachers told me. They would say this in church. Everyone in my town said it. Money is not important. I heard it from everyone around me. And it's true that money is not the most important thing in the world, but it is still important and it is pretty damn important. Why is it important? You want enough money to have a basic standard of living that is comfortable. And I use this word comfortable. What does that mean? Because comfortable means different things to different people. Some people are comfortable in a tiny apartment. Other people are comfortable in a 10,000 square foot house. What comfortable means is that you don't have to think about money all the time. If you're one of these people and you're laying in bed, can't sleep, you're thinking about how to pay the rent, I would not characterize that as comfortable. Comfortable, any time you are forced to make an economic choice, you can say, I can have this or I can have that, but I can't have both. Any time you are forced to make an economic choice like that, then you are not comfortable. Within reason, I'm not talking about flying on private jets. But if you're making choices like, I can get my car fixed, or I can go on vacation, I would not characterize that as comfortable. That's hardship. That's hardship. You're, you're being forced to choose between two things that you need. What you want to do is get to a point where you can fix the car and go on vacation. The fewer economic choices like these that you have to make, the more comfortable you are. It's as simple as that. I'm to the point in my life where I don't have to make a lot of economic choices. If I want to buy a pair of boots, I can buy a pair of boots. I don't have to think about how I can't afford something else. Anyway, I've told this story a bunch of times before, but I'm going to tell it again. When I was 22 years old, I wanted to be a writer. That was my ambition. And... I wanted to go get an MFA in creative writing and write short stories and be a professor somewhere and be a writer. So I was all excited about it and I called up my mom and I told her my plan and she said, that is a terrible idea. <laughs> She's like, you're going to be poor. I don't want you to be poor. Why don't you do something else and make some money? That is how I got into finance. Now, I had an interest in finance, too. It wasn't like I just went into finance to make money. Uh, I was interested in stocks. But, yeah, that's, that's how that happened. So, And I don't have any regrets. I think it was the right choice. And now I can get an MFA, and I don't have to worry about paying student loans. I don't have to take out loans. And if I wanted to, I could quit what I'm doing or most of what I'm doing and write short stories all day if that's what I feel like doing. One of the things that I used to talk about on the radio is that when you're younger, you make investments of your time so you can make more money when you're older. I did not have any fun in my 20s. I really didn't. I was working my ass off. I was working all the time. I'm still working all the time, but I'm doing things that I want to do. You bust your ass when you were younger so you can make a shit ton of money when you were older. And some people get this backwards. They screw around when they're younger, and then you get to age 50, and they're stuck. Money is not the most important thing in the world, but it is more important than you think. Let me put this in terms that you can understand. It's nice to have nice shit. <laughs> really is. It's nice to have nice things. Another thing you need to understand is that material things make you happy. It's not the only thing that makes you happy. There's a lot of other better things that make you happy, but material things do make you happy. It's absolutely true. People say all the time, it, stuff, things don't matter, but they do. I'm just being honest. Nobody else has the balls to say this. They don't. Nobody else will admit that material things make you happy. They aren't the only thing that make you happy, but they do make you happy. Now, 
I didn't decide to make money so that I could have a lot of nice things. That isn't the thought that was going through my head. I just wanted to make money so I could be comfortable, so I wouldn't have to make those economic choices. And I can tell you that it's the best thing in the world. And the best thing about it is that you are dealing from a position of strength. If the car shits the bed and it's going to cost three grand, it's no big deal. It sucks and you pay it and life goes on. It's not a crisis when that happens. Unexpected expenses no longer have an effect on you. And if you get really rich, you, you never really have to worry about anything. I mean, even if you get like some bizarre, rare form of cancer and you have $2 million in medical bills, it's fine. It's okay. It sucks, but it's going to be okay. It's not a crisis. In The Gambler, John Goodman, in his famous speech, tells Mark Wahlberg, don't drink. If I remain in your position, don't drink. That's all I can say to somebody. Don't drink and you won't be making those stupid decisions that screw up your life. Like divorce. Money is more important than you think it is. But it doesn't mean you should always take the path of more money. I chose to leave Lehman at the bankruptcy rather than stay on. That was a life-saving decision. I was giving up millions of dollars and I had to do it for my own happiness. I ended up making more money in the long run anyway, but I didn't know that was going to happen at the time. I absolutely would have lost my mind if I stayed on Wall Street. It is good that I knew that about myself. It was a tough decision, but it was the right decision. Lots of people can't leave Wall Street because they have this money and they have, they've have they sort of raised their standard of living to this high level and they don't want to give up that standard of living. And that was the difference with me. I never took up my standard of living to that level. I never did. I was living below my means. I have lived below my means throughout most of my life. There is a word for this. It's called fuck you money. <laughs> you probably heard that before. And imagine somebody telling me in 1996 that the reason I shouldn't get my MFA in creative writing was that I should go out and get fuck you money and do it later. I would have run screaming the other direction. I didn't, I didn't understand it. All I wanted to do was be comfortable and not have to make those economic choices. I just wanted there to be enough. So today, there's enough. There are still things I can't afford, and that's fine. I'm happy, and that's all that counts. Thanks for listening to the Be Smart Podcast. I'm Jared Dillian. See you next time.